at Sidmouth College, A-level maths is taught at the moment by Mrs. Masters and myself. Um, I'm Mr. Evans, the head of mathematics. Um, we follow a syllabus which is the MEI syllabus. It involves three strands. Mainly, there's a big chunk of pure mathematics, and that is algebra, if you like algebra. It's algebra even if you don't like algebra. Uh, that leads into calculus and there's trigonometry. Those are the main parts of PURE. In addition, there's statistics and there's also mechanics, which is closest to the physics side of mathematics. We follow the course over two years and the exams at the end of it, it's entirely uh, done by exam, there's no coursework. The exams at the end of it, there are three exams uh, which cover each of them covers pure maths with one of the other aspects. So there's a pure with mechanics, a pure with statistics, and a pure with what they call uh, comprehension, which is where you have to read a passage or, uh, about mathematics and then answer questions about it. Uh, each of those exams is two hours long, uh, and they count equally towards the overall grade. The reasons for doing mathematics, first of all, Yes, you do need to be good at it, um, so uh, we wouldn't expect anyone to be doing A-level mathematics unless they achieve at least a grade 6 and to, to be looking at a high grade at A-level, uh, you probably need to be coming from at least a grade 7 in your GCSE. As well as having the good grade though, you do need to enjoy mathematics, you need to enjoy more than anything, you need to enjoy the challenge of mathematics, because it will be difficult. Uh, I spoke to my current year group and said, why, why should, what should I do to sell the A-level mathematics? And they said, it's challenging, but it's enjoyable as long as you're prepared to work hard. Um, so that, that's their summary, I can't really put it better myself. Um, it will be difficult at times. Uh, being good at mathematics is not just finding it easy, it's being up for the challenge of working through something that you find difficult. The reward for that at the end of it is an A-level mathematic grade is highly counted for when uh, employers or universities are looking at you. Um, in particular, it supports not just going on to do mathematics at university, but certainly anyone going on to do sciences at university um, would be well advised to be taking mathematics as well because you will need those aspects of mathematics in your studies. As you go through university, biology, chemistry and physics all become much more mathematical. It also supports social sciences, engineering as well. There are lots of uh, medicine, there are lots of other uh, strands that you might go through in university for which having an A-level maths degree will be an advantage. You'll find that if you're on that course and you've got the A-level maths background and somebody else hasn't, you're going to find things in that course easier. Where does it lead on to? Well, if you get a mathematics degree at the end of it, that's reckoned to be worth perhaps £100,000 extra in salary over your lifetime compared to other degrees, or most other degrees. So mathematics itself is highly valued. But I wouldn't be selling it just on that basis. It's there to support so many other subjects. <laughs>